It's like reaching out the stage with your soul, with your, with your heart, so, but in a way that you move and smile, sometimes smile. They will love you for that. Hey guys, uh, Old School Labs athlete Alex Lappinson here with Old School Labs ambassador Mario De Silva. Mario? It's been a pleasure having yeah, you here, my did. friend. Good Thank to you. see you. Good to see you. Yeah, so we came down. I want to. Um, my, my aspirations for 2019 are to uh, compete, um, and I'm, I've done it naturally. So I want to do a show in, in May, near May. When was your first competition? I haven't competed yet. Oh, you haven't done it at all? No. Yeah, I'm going into. I, I wanted to get to the weight that I have to compete um, before I stepped on stage because I don't want to come in um, lighter than my competition if, if there was a weight cap. So your, your weight uh, will be how much? Uh, if, they, if they change the division, it's going to be 212, 212. Or 217 now. It was 212. Yeah. So you feel that you're going to be ready? I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident that I will. You're working uh, not only on the training, but you're working your posing routine and the whole thing or not yet? I, I've been working on my posing, but I, I definitely think that there's, uh, there's some room for improvement there. Um, and watching some of your older videos and your posing, especially uh, the way that you, you would move your lats, some of your movements to the songs. I know I've seen people posing take them from, you know, a top five and move them to, you know, eight or ninth place just because they don't know how to present mm -hmm. their body well. Um, yeah. So I'd like to um, get, the, get the posing down to where that doesn't become a factor that, that hurts me in, in the judge's eyes. So. Great. Well, you, you're very young. How old are you right now? 24 years old. Ah, great. The whole world is ahead of you. So, and um, you really want to compete? Do you have any other goals in bodybuilding? Like um, it, being, being a trainer or something? I don't know, what, what would you like to do with this? I would, I'd like to take the, the fitness in industry and just use my platform. Um, I know that it's a little bit different now than when you compete as far as like social media goes and things like that, but with the platform I develop um, from fitness, I'd like to pour into other people and, and help them kind of learn the movements and. And as being a natural bodybuilder, kind of show, showcase um, how you can do things properly, uh, supplementing the right way. Beautiful. Um, and what it motivates you to start it? Why? Why bodybuilding? Why muscles? You, you know, to, honestly, I know everybody kind of has their, has their reasons. I, I kind of just wanted to better myself. And it kind of became an outlet of like uh, stress relief at first, you know, something to do to kind of occupy my time when I wasn't in school. I went to school for kinesiology at yeah. Vanguard and that kind of started learning and I wanted to, with fitness, you're, you're your own billboard, yeah. you know, so when people see uh, how you look, you're more likely to get clientele and things like that. So I kind of, kind of uh, leaned that way with it and then um, now I, I just, I just love the industry and it's more than a hobby now, it's just something I have to do. Which one was your, your model to start? Any bodybuilder that you really been impressed or been trying to look like? Or what was, what was the motivation that you have? Uh, honestly, Frank Zane was, mm -hmm. my, was the initial bodybuilder that I saw that I just thought was, was uh, artistic. You know, not, not too big, didn't, what, his body wasn't overpowering, but a lot of a lot of lines, good good flow to his body type, um, and kind of in a, in an era where bodybuilding started becoming a lot about mass monsters. Well, was, you just oh. mentioned something that for me very special, you because Franz Zane, when I came to the first uh, competition in America in 1968, mm -hmm. uh, I competed. He won. He beat Arnold too. He does a year that you know Arnold was not happy at all. So, but Francine was that kind of physique, uh, he won. It was very impressive. Right. So it's, it's funny that you said that that was him that impressed you the most. There's a good picture of, of you on stage with those guys. Yeah, I've been in uh, three Mr. World contests after that. Mr. Uh, World 1970, 71, both in New York. And then uh, in 77 was in, um, in Mexico that I won best poser, so invited with the winner. We went to Mexico City, all paid by the government. Only the winner of Mr. World and myself. Oh no, a lot of people got envious of that, but I mean, that was, I was the chosen one. I was so lucky 
they want somebody that speaks the language well and somebody that know how to uh, you know be on television you know to present bodybuilding for the world in your training and what you've seen obviously you've seen the progression of bodybuilding yeah. to what it is now um, and you being um, recognized as one of the best posers um, of your era what would you recommend because I know posing is so it's so big um, now and, and like I said it could change your place you know three or four spots just by presentation what things do you think you could tell me or advice you could give me uh, for, as far as posing goes well like I said for uh, for me it was it's kind of interesting that you, you need a mirror for that, not that you have just an ego or you want to be here uh, look at me. But you need a mirror and you need a good music that you can associate it with. Mm. So you got to move with the music that you can relate with. Something that touch almost deep inside of you, something that you can, when you move on stage, you just don't move the muscles on the, it's kind of your soul through your movements. It's that, kind of a way to impress people not because they say I'm the most beautiful, but you want to be elegant. You're going to be classic. You're going to be something that is not I'm the most amazing or like a brute. Show grace, style, class. That's what I advise. But it's a lot of work in front of the mirror right. with music. You got to try different music that you can relate and, and use your hands to move accordingly. Let it go, work. It's a lot of work. But uh, you, you are in the right position now to do it, and bodybuilding is being deteriorating itself, in my opinion, the way it goes. They are too big, it's too much it's drugs in the sports. I don't, I don't take to things, I don't believe in it. You know, I, the magazine used to call me, even from magazines that I write, articles, Spain, Argentina, Mexico, and uh, they used to call me Mr. Nacho. I'm for real. Some people claim that, but they are not. Right. So the idea is to stick with the being real and not to get sick, you know, trying to be the biggest one in the world and getting sick. So as far as get, staying on stage with some of those, those bigger guys in that era is the beginning of, of some of those mass monsters. What, what, what did you do nutrition-wise to stay in competition with some of those guys? Leaking? Well, that's uh, more high protein. It, it, it be not so many great things like nowadays. We have, you know, so many good things with the amino acids and everything that is, you can use the blender and combine them great with the yogurt, with eggs, you know, vitamin C, and, and then you can have a great result. But uh, it, it was hard when you get in that extremely big, it's impossible to be natural. Right. I don't care what they say to you. But I uh, hope you always can uh, follow the rules that you have with yourself now. You look very solid, very good, uh, young. So it's up to you. Like I said, the whole world is ahead of you. I, I think that the, the classic division, you know, just coming out in the last couple of years, really helps um, guys that want to compete and, and stay natural because there's a weight cap. Um, because being at, you know, now 217 is the most that I can weigh. It's not like I have to uh, keep up with some of these guys that are coming in at two, 240, 250. Um, yeah. Because, you know, I can get to 217 naturally, yeah. you know. Well, you're the same height for Arnold. So uh, Arnold was about 240 when I competed in Florida. And his first show, it was my first show in America too. It was about 240. You know, I was just, I what, never, do you, what are you thinking when you see when you step on stage next to somebody that that big? Well, that's I was wrong. trying to compensate with the movements. That's right. why they noticed that they don't, they didn't give me the winner, but I mean, a lot of comp compliments I got after the show because of the movements I, I brought from South America, different style in different movements. So I tried to compensate with that because I was what 175 maybe. When, 80 at the most, I, I, I don't even remember well now, but just without the drugs, you don't get that kind of size. Also, the way you present your muscles, the, the way you pose, the way you move, it shows, you know, better than other people that don't know how to present themselves. Right. And you were known for your, for your shoulder to waist ratio. You had that big, you know, shoulder yeah, to yeah, lats yeah. and then your chest came across really big. What exercises do you recommend to kind of widen the chest out a little bit? Well, what, I mean, with the bench presses that I used to do all the way to the top, you know, more is exactly almost like a Vince Gironda used to recommend it, which was my inspiration, Vince Gironda, 
was the body that really got me going, you know, when I was only 13 years old. So I, I, I was in Uruguay, I saw a magazine. I was, don't think I was meeting at that time. I met him years later when I came to America, and I thank him for But I was uh, the bench press on top, uh, flies, the dips, a lot of dips. Not only the dips for tricep, but the dips this way. So that way you get the, the, the tricep, the shoulders, and the chest. So, get the, you know, now I use, I use, see the dips. Mm -hmm. Before it was not such a thing, but the form that I use helped me to develop the, the width on the top. And pullovers also, because pullovers don't use it anymore, but I used to have asthma, so that's one of the things that, so open up the rib cage, you develop a different, you know, way of, you know, you, the way you move, the way you present yourself, you stand it, you don't look like this, you always look a little bit, so the pullovers, I recommend I heard, it. I heard say something in one of your videos about pullovers for the vacuums. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the guys nowadays, they cannot even do that, because even the organs develop. In this. So to do the vacuum, you, you got you to gotta be natural. Do you have anything else for vacuums? That's, that's a big, they're making a big comeback with the vacuums. Yeah, well, a, lot of, a lot of people are trying to, trying to get their vacuums, definitely for Well, I think pullover has a lot to do with it. And the posing, then after that, the posing. But that's what it is. How frequently did you practice posing? Uh, when I was competing, probably almost uh, four, or four days a week. Really? At least, yes. After Whenever I have a chance, yeah, because when I was raising family, mm -hmm. it, it was more difficult. But I mean, uh, when I have extra time, single, uh, I was doing uh, five, six days a week training. Now, it's just, uh, you cannot do that. When you're raising a family, sometimes you have to minimize to four times. So, the thing, uh, I don't know if you're gonna be combining your type of work with this bodybuilding, so that way maybe you can really approach uh, your body in a different way, in a different level. Well, like, the nice thing about my career path is being a first responder, I've found uh, ways to, to fit in workouts in between calls and things like that. And, and there's equipment that I can use to kind of, you know, simulate some of the movements yeah. uh, for squats and, you yeah. know, different, different things I can lift. It allows me to have a pretty active lifestyle because I'm constantly on the move. But I also, I have, actually have twins on the way. So, uh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, in, in uh, doing June, that's, a, that's another reason why I want to get my, my show uh, before then, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your hands going to be really... Yeah, they're going to be full <laughs> twice. Very full. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, I wish you good luck. That's great. Yeah, thank you. To bring somebody into this world is the most beautiful thing. All right. That changed my life. When I, when I had my son, that, that was the best, the best thing ever happened to me. Yeah. So that will give you a lot of inspiration to be the best human being, too. Yeah. Because you got to be an inspiration for them, not only body-wise. You got to show some, you know, values, some other things that it will make you a real man, yeah. and we'll pass it to the next generation. So wish you luck, man. You're great. You. So I think, you know, if you really concentrate a little more, like I said, pullovers, uh, you know, the dips, and if you have a seated dip, I recommend that a lot because the seated dip that I do a lot, you do about a few sets and it, it expands the chest and everything's amazing. But I mean, uh, the rest, I know you see, you have the legs, everything, the arms, and then uh, I wish you luck. I appreciate it. I Is want there you any other last tips you could give me for, as far as having a classic display um, on stage? Well, try to get some, somebody take pictures of you when you're posing, or select some poses to, you know, the, how, to, how to pose, because sometimes people, they, they stand up straight, so the waist comes a little thicker. So the three-quarter posing, you know, is always good. Three-quarter posing, you leg like this, like standing, and then you good posture. Not like this, never like this. Always a good posture. It doesn't show only, it's not only arrogance. It's a little attitude about, I'm somebody, but I mean, in a nice way. Standing good, moving, and the rest is uh, the practice. I suggested you to get really as few pieces of music that you really get associated with and move. move nothing to too music. fast, nothing. So the movement should be really classic, very nice, very smooth, and combine them, combine them. Not too long, okay. Not, it's like everything else. 
enough. Uh, and don't go to the people, uh, uh, look at me, no, 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 don't do that. Just nice. It's like reaching out the stage with your soul, with your, with your heart, so, but in a way that you move and smile, sometimes smile. They will love you for that. You got a good looking man, so you're going to do it. You're going to get, you're going to be great. I really okay, appreciate Alex, it. I believe in you. Thank you, Mario. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. We we'll get together soon in the gym sometime. Yeah, I need okay. to get some posing from you too. Yeah, anytime. I wish you the best. Hey guys, it's been a pleasure being here today with Mario. I hope you guys got a lot of helpful information on the classic era. Uh, remember, just always keep it old school. Yes, my friend. Keep it old school. All the way. <laughs>